Dear sir, madam, uh, I'm Dr. Nadika Pereira, and my study is on prevalence and correlates of stress following dengue infection among adults in Colombo district. As you all know, dengue is an acute viral infection existing in every WHO region, and it is endemic in 125 countries. Studies regarding the post-infectious period of dengue infection is quite uncommon, and the long-term consequences and the psychological morbidity has been less studied. Coming to stress, stress can be explained as an environmental stimulus which causes stress in the individual or events that can produce certain changes in an individual, which is identified as stress or as described in situations related to physical illness, or due to the imbalance between resources and demands that cannot be overcome by coping strategies. The objective was to determine the prevalence and correlates of stress at one month follow up among adults confirmed with dengue infection admitted to selected healthcare institutions in Colombo district methods. Operationalization of the definitions was done and selected the study tool as depression, anxiety, and stress scale 21, which is DAS 21, validated for the local setting by Deera Singer in 2014. A longitudinal study was conducted in the Institute of Infectious Diseases and the base hospital Homagama. From July 2018 to January 2019, the study population consisted of adults aged 18 to 60 years confirmed with dengue infection, patients already diagnosed with a mental illness, pregnant mothers, and those who were unable to respond to an interview administered questionnaire in Singha were excluded. A case was defined as a study participant screened for stress by DAS 21 with a cutoff value of more than or equal 20. Maximum sample size was calculated as 480 with a 20% loss to follow up. Recruited every patient with a skip interval of one. Day one of fever was considered as day one of infection and patients were interviewed on the date of discharge and at one month follow up. Administrative and ethical clearance was obtained. Prevalence was presented with 95% confidence interval in assessing correlates, bivariate analysis and binomial multiple logistic regression analysis was carried out via SPSS 21 version. Measures were taken to improve the quality of the data, minimizing selection bias, non-response and loss to follow-up and information bias. Results. Interrated reliability was assessed and ranged from 0.72 to 1.0, which was satisfactory. Response rate was 84.58. Maturity were within 18 to 35 age category and the age of participants showed an unnormal distribution. 60% were males and considering ethnicity, 92% were Sinhalese. Majority were educated more than GCE or level. 63.3% had dengue fever and the rest were having dengue hemorrhagic fever. Prevalence of stress at one month follow up was 7.9% with a 95% confidence interval of 5.5 to 10.9. At multivariate analysis, being a female with an adjusted odds ratio of 3.34, having headache, post-discharge with an adjusted odds ratio of 3.26, and having myalgia post-discharge with an adjusted odds ratio of 4.16, were significant correlates of having stress following dengue infection. Conclusions and recommendations. Approximately 1 in 12 patients with dengue infection had stress at one month follow-up. In the current context, dengue patients are not routing the follow-up at institutional level. Therefore, it is recommended to improve awareness regarding this condition and the importance of screening and management. I acknowledge the University of Sri Jayawardenepura uh, uh, for the research grant and all my supervisors, expert team, research team, and colleagues, and all the participants for their immense support. Thank you.